Many times we use the phrase, every child is a triangle. And so when we think about what that really means, it translates into at least three really distinct types of shapes. So we can have this left-hand shape, this isosceles triangle that really suggests from a K-12 mentality that majority of children are on track, some of the children might have needs that are temporary, and then you have a few children who have individualized needs. Contrast that with the triangle on the far right, sort of an inverted uh, isosceles triangle, which is what many of us that work with children with special needs might experience, where most of our children have individualized needs, some of our children have temporary needs, and there are a few children who are on track in one area of development or another. The diamond in the middle is really supposed to uh, depict what is more of our reality, which is that there are many children that are somewhere in between. Um, there are fewer children who have very significant needs, and there are fewer children that we serve in pre-K that are on track, primarily because we don't have universal pre-K. So the children we tend to come across are either at risk because of their environment, um, things around poverty, language, as well as social emotional well-being, and then you compile that with maybe having a disability or a disorder or a delay, and there's this combination of things at play. So hence the phrase, all children are a triangle. And if we really had some sophisticated software, we could show how each of these triangles morphs and sh changes its shape depending on the context and the situation. So depending on what we're asking a child to do, where the child is, what they had for dinner or didn't have for dinner, um, how much they are spoken to, how much they are um, really feeling safe and secure in their environments. All of these things will impact the shape of their triangle. So in the end, when we think about identifying who needs to learn what, we really need to think about uh, children as these sort of shifting shapes where sometimes they have very low needs, sometimes they have temporary needs, and sometimes they have very significant needs.